Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody had an amazing holiday weekend and I'm really starting to get into the Christmas spirit now that Thanksgiving is over. Josh and I are actually about to head up the mountain to snowboard for a couple of hours. Today's our day off and it's been a minute since we've been out of the house since we've had the puppies. But while we were getting ready, I remembered that last week I had mentioned I would do a little bit of a winter thrift haul and we actually ended up finding all of our snowboarding gear secondhand as well. So I thought before we head up the mountain for the afternoon, I would sit down with you guys and share with you my winter thrift haul because it is so good. I feel like I've mentioned this a couple of times on here before, but the thrift stores in this area in particular have been insanely good, like truly gold mines. So there is a lot to show you guys today, but I'm gonna try and keep it quick because the puppy is crying in the other room because she hears me behind the door. <laughs> If any of you guys missed that announcement, we got a new puppy last week and you can watch that vlog here. For the last four winters or so, we've been living in a van, so we've driven south for the winter and we haven't needed a lot of seasonal decor items, heavy winter gear, anything like that, but this year we are definitely gonna need it. We get an insane amount of snow here in the valley. I think it's like over 100 inches per year on average. I will fact check that and put it on the screen here. But winter gear can be really expensive and you guys know how much I love thrifting. It's a much more sustainable way to shop and I'm definitely a shopper. So <laughs> to try and save a couple of bucks but make sure that we were gonna stay warm and have all the gear that we needed for the winter season, I thrifted what I could and then we were able to invest in good quality pieces that we really needed for the season. So, I will try and do a try on for all of the clothing items that I got, but let's get into it. We'll start with some home decor stuff. You guys know I love coffee, so I grabbed a couple of mugs for the season now that I have cabinet space to have more than one mug. This one is so cute. I think this one's my favorite. Something about this little bear. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to mention, I got most of the home decor stuff at truly like the thrift store sale of the century. They were closing, permanently going out of business. So you walked in, they gave you a plastic bin, like a storage bin, and whatever you could fit in it was $10. So I spent hours in the thrift store, um, as you do when a sale like that is going on. And I got basically all of our Christmas decor, except a couple of things that I picked up at the family dollar um, in our Christmas tree. So the fact that I got most of the things that I'm going to show you in this video for the $10 bin, and then they were having a sale on clothing, whatever you could fit in a garbage bag was five bucks. So basically everything I'm going to show you today I got for <laughs> $15, which is insane. Yeah, just totally forgot to mention that. Um, I love little knickknacks like this and thrift stores are honestly the perfect place to find super homey, cute little Christmas items. So I grabbed a couple things to just set on some shelves around the house. And this is one of my absolute favorite things that I found. It's this beautiful wooden sleigh. I really love neutrals. So I noticed in my decor, I can tend to go a little bit overboard with color, so I've been trying to pick up some more neutral pieces that give like a Christmas vibe without being so loud. Another find that I was like completely shocked about, these are in such beautiful condition. I actually found a set of two. The other one is up on a shelf above our bed. I feel like this is something you would find at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and it would cost a lot more than a dollar in the Christmas bin. So was very excited about these. I'm definitely a green and red Christmas decorator. I don't usually gravitate towards like adding any other like non-traditional Christmas colors. Another gem, truly I had the best luck ever at this <laughs> sale and I think I brought home two bins that day. The, the look Josh gave me when I got back with so much stuff was hilarious. But this just has three little snowmans in this little canoe. I thought this would be super cute on a mantle. We keep it below our TV. I don't know that it's really a mantle. It's just like a little shelf, but so cute and very much our vibe. Found this really cute throw pillow. This is actually perfect because the rug and bedding that came in the room that we live in for our employee housing is navy blue. So I thought this would look perfect on our bed, kind of fit the color scheme for a bedroom. I also got this little guy that I've got just some lights draped over on this 
end table thingy here in that Christmas sale as well as the reindeer crossing sign I showed you guys last week on the front door. So that pretty much wraps up home decor. This basically covered a decent amount of our Christmas decor and I'm really excited to keep these pieces and continue building my collection over the years now that we are a little bit more stationary and in a more traditional home setting than the van. I really wasn't able to have too much Christmas decor prior um, when we were living in the van. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are decorators before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving. I know this is a very heated debate. I love the extra boost of serotonin that Christmas spirit brings me, so I definitely decorate on the earlier side. I can't believe I almost forgot to show you guys these beautiful plates that I also scored in that $10 bin. I'm so excited. These will be so cute to bake cookies and put them out in the office for guests or just maybe out for Santa, who knows. So next I'll show you a couple accessories, move into the clothes, and then I'll show you guys our snowboard gear as we're getting ready. Can't have too many pairs of snow boots here. Like I said, we get a ton of snow. These are actually sorrel boots. I was really excited about these. These were not part of the super sale. I think they were like 10 or $12, but still a really great deal um, for what they usually cost. And they're in pretty good shape. I grabbed a neutral beanie. It's one of my favorite ways to um, hide the fact that my hair is usually a mess and it's freezing here, so can't ever have too many. I found these three amazing scarves at the Christmas sale, so these were in the bag of clothes that I got for $10. This one is kind of like a light blue, a much more light colored neutral, and then I also got this brown one with some tassels at the end so cute i love adding a scarf to just like an oversized t-shirt i feel like it makes my outfits look so much more put together than they are and i'm so comfortable it truly wouldn't be a trip to the thrift store without purchasing a flannel <laughs> this one has that rust color that you guys know that i love um, and it's a little bit less oversized than some so i thought it'd be good to have a little bit more versatility since I usually buy them super super oversized. I found this really cute cardigan. The pocket is ripped so I still need to fix that up but I love the simple little pops of color in this but it's still kind of a neutral. I love buying things that are like cream colored or white but I am truly the stain queen so I feel like this would hide coffee stains usually coffee stains um, a little bit better than some of the other cream colored things that I have. This next find is truly one in a million. This one says just an Ohio girl living in an Idaho world. Like y'all are you kidding me right now? And it's baby pink. Truly so excited about this and I don't know that I'll ever be over it. I feel like it was just perfect that I walked in there that day. The first thing I saw was this and the second thing I heard about was the sale. So it truly was a magical day. Now we'll move into more of the Christmassy clothes. I am a sucker for an ugly Christmas sweater and this one is just so cute. It's got a little skier on the front. I just think the details on this are adorable. Very, very cute, very unique. Fits me perfectly and it's so cozy. I'm so excited about this. And then I've actually started thrifting some stuff for Josh now too that we have some closet space. He's not much of a shopper so I, Every now and again, we'll pick him up something if I think it's something that he'll like. So I found him some really great seasonal sweaters. I'm hoping to host an ugly Christmas sweater, snowball fight, Christmas cocktail hour type of thing for the resort. So we both needed a Christmas sweater. And then I found this amazing heavyweight vintage Abercrombie sweater that I was so excited about. This is truly just so warm and it fits Josh so well and he looks so handsome in it. I was very excited about this find and I'll probably be borrowing it at some point. Growing up, it was a tradition in my family to get a pair of Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve every year. We got to open one present and it was always our Christmas pajamas. So since this will be Josh and I's first time at spending the holidays alone away from family, I picked us up some Christmas onesies at the thrift store. I was so excited to find two, let alone ones that would fit us. So Josh's is just kind of your plaid Christmas traditional vibe. And then mine has these touches of pink and the little reindeers, which I just thought was perfect since 
pink's my favorite color last but not least the shirt that i'm wearing i actually thrifted not a part of the sale i actually found a new thrift store in town last week which i was so excited about so this is a t-shirt from the million dollar cowboy bar we went there for the first time with my grandparents this summer it's so cool inside all of the bar stools are saddles and it was really fun but buying stuff like that from the gift shop there is really expensive everything in jackson is just kind of really expensive um the graphic on the back of this is so cool then i also thrifted these beautiful ceramic espresso glasses um to use with our new espresso machine josh and i are definitely like diehard coffee drinkers so a lot of times we won't do a full latte we'll just each have an espresso shot so we've been really enjoying having them and they were only one dollar each which is amazing okay that pretty much wraps up all of the stuff that i traditionally thrifted like a true donate thrift store all of our snowboarding gear we actually went to a like resale shop for here in town which was really amazing we got all of the stuff for both of us for what it would cost for like one really nice new snowboard so we got two boards two sets of boots i got ski pants and a pair of goggles so essentially we checked most of our gear boxes all in one place and at a ridiculously reduced price which is awesome it didn't involve nearly as much digging since i'm still getting into snowboarding i wanted to know that i was buying something kind of you know good quality um, and I didn't want to chance it as much trying to thrift. So it ended up being a really good option, still a little bit more sustainable than buying new and way cheaper. Josh and I both didn't find coats that we really liked at the resale shop. So I ended up getting mine online. But on the way home from the resale shop, I convinced Josh to stop at the new thrift store that I just told you guys about. And... We honestly just scored so big. Josh found the perfect coat. It was like exactly what he was describing to me that he wanted at the resale shop. And we walked in and it was just like right in the front. I also ended up getting this there and those two ceramic glasses. So it ended up being a really good side stop on the way home. So the only thing that we really ended up having to buy new was a coat for me and goggles for Josh and a helmet for me. I will say making more trips definitely helps with finding more stuff when you're thrifting, just being patient and, you know, giving it time. There's new stuff there almost every time that I go, so it's kind of always an adventure. But we are definitely running out of daylight. It starts getting dark here at like 4 o'clock, which is crazy, so we are going to get going walk the girls and head up the mountain thank you guys so much for watching this video i love thrifting and i really just love sharing all the treasures that i've collected i just thought this would be a really great video to put out this time of year especially you know cyber monday being this week everything like that to just remind you that there are a lot of really amazing treasures that are just getting tossed away every year that you can bring home and love save some money and save the planet so this just seemed like a good time to put out this video Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Ready. Ready, ready. Future. Future. Let's go. Top of the world, top of the world, who running like us? Running the world, running the world, we running it up. Turning it down, turning it up and running the muck. Running it now, running it now, we know what we want, yeah Destiny is pulling on my coattail This the moment that they want it, yes I know it will I can see the future, no I won't